Mr. Ninja Monkey, I'm Nathan and today I am going to try to make some Tokyo Banana and I can't believe I've actually haven't spoken about this but I am obsessed with Tokyo Banana every time I go to Japan, every time I go to Tokyo I always bring back loads and loads of Tokyo Banana and obviously you can't get them here, they have a very short shelf life so I'm going to try and make my own. And I've actually already made the sponge. It's very thin sponge, which I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna show you how to make the filling. Hopefully it tastes good. So, <laughs> we're gonna need some bananas, obviously. 100 grams of bananas for the, the recipe that I found online, by the way. So I think probably one and a half bananas, two bananas, we'll see. I'm gonna measure it all up and see. Actually, one banana was about 100 grams, more or less. So I've added just a little bit more because I always um, like to make a little bit more just in case. So, I've got the uh, mashed bananas. Actually, this reminds me of my granny. When I was a little kid, my granny used to mash up bananas and put some sugar um, on top of the bananas and I used to eat it. So, have you ever had something like that? Is, it, is that something common where you live? I don't know. Now I'm going to add all the ingredients together apart from the vanilla. So I need to add some um, one egg, some cornstarch, some sugar and some milk. So let's do this. And now it's just a matter of straining it all into a saucepan, which is I'm, I'm about to do. <laughs> and it seems to be a lot harder than what I thought it was going to be. Straining, I can't seem to get all of it strained through and I'm just gonna um, heat it up over some low heat until the whole thing thickens. So, fingers crossed it works out. I really want Tokyo Banana. started to thicken up I have to take it off the heat and continue stirring it like I'm doing now and it's actually gone thick and I'm not very sure if I'm gonna actually have enough um, but it doesn't matter because it's the first time I make this I don't know why I choose so many recipes I've never made before on my channel <laughs> it's a bad place to start you can see that it's actually nice and thick I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so this is where I think things are gonna go horribly wrong. The assembly. I've got a piping bag and I'm going to basically put all of the um, the custard, the banana custard that I've made in, in here. And I'm gonna pipe it into some um, squares that I've cut, which I've put on clean film and then I'm gonna roll up. <laughs> so that sounds quite complicated, but let's see how it works out. First attempt at a Tokyo banana. The rolling was a little bit um, easier than I expected, but hopefully, I mean, I'm gonna chill them, but I'm gonna try this one. Oh, it's a large Tokyo banana. I think I can make them smaller. Ooh. Actually, I am very impressed with this Tokyo banana. What do you think? Look at it. Ah, wow. Ah. Let's see.
Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. 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 I think I was right. It needs a little bit more um, filling. So the next one I'm going to make, and I'm going to make more filling. Mmm. Awesome. <laughs> And the little parcels will look something like this and I'm going to put them in the fridge and I'm going to have them another time with some coffee or matcha green tea, something like that. So yeah, I think it was actually um, a good thing to do because I really do like Tokyo banana and I can imagine now that I've kind of done it once, I know what I'm doing, I can, uh, I think I'd probably have to double the recipe so that because this would make about four Tokyo bananas and that's definitely not enough. So I'll have to double or even triple the, the recipe because I know that my friends are going to want some. So anyway, don't forget, that if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that ding dong notification button. If you're new to the channel and you've enjoyed this video, then you might consider subscribing and being nice. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Have you made this recipe before? Have you tried making something like this before in the past? So till next time, see you soon. Bye-bye.